Hey there everybody, good morning and welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Make sure I'm not blowing you out there on the audio. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Yep, well, not that one. Yep, that one. Tom Rigsby, your host for uh, this installment where we get together every morning for, uh, you know, 7-ish minutes or so. I can't ever guarantee that it's only going to be 7. Sometimes I get on a roll, but uh, we get together and talk about uh, this year, actually. We've kind of been talking about how to stop letting life happen to you and create the life you crave, so we kind of unpack those topics as we go every day. When you arrive, I would be honored if you would drop a comment in there like Joe just did. Say good morning. Let me know that you are here. That's always encouraging to me to see who is here. And it sets you up so that Facebook can do the heavy lifting for you, let you know every time the show uh, comes on, or um, as the conversation continues in the comments here. I personally have been dealing with this allergy thing, hence the, uh, the, the head sounding like I'm in a barrel, at least to me. And uh, it's been particularly bad this morning. I'm going to try to get through the show without coughing any more than I have to. <coughs> but every once in a while I have to. So my apologies for that. Hey, I uh, I talked about um, this little thing called Fast Five yesterday. I had some questions about that, so I'll put that back up there. If you are interested in finding... Uh, going through a little framework that I have put together to help you begin creating the results you like or the results you crave in your life. Fast Five is an easy way to do it. It's free. It's on the website, tomrigsby.com slash Fast Five. You have some videos of me, some worksheets, some homework. Yes, homework. I know. That's the way things work these days. So we'll talk about that some more again at the end. All right. So uh, yesterday, kind of got on a tear about who makes the rules for you. And um, kind of as an aside, I got into this question behind the question, and Eric had joined us yesterday uh, and kind of chimed in right there at the end that 20 questions are better. So here's what we're going to do. We talked about this yesterday while we were doing the coffee shop show. I'm going to talk about QBQ today. He is going to talk about uh, the, the 20 questions plan. So you should check out uh, his show also, and I don't see, any, if Eric, if you are there, I don't see you yet, but if you're there, when you get there, drop a link to that in the comments so that folks can come over and check out your show. All right. The question behind the question, this came up because I mentioned yesterday, I talked about uh, in my coaching practice, a lot of times I will get people that come to me with a question about a specific result. Since I'm kind of the results coach, then they, that's what they're doing, right? But I, uh, not always, but always, ask them why they want that result. Because what a lot of people do is they're faced with a problem, they come up with a solution to that problem, and then they are projecting that solution as the result that they need. Right, so well, last night at co-working night, I kind of used the example of you know a client coming in saying I, I need a hundred thousand dollar quarter. Okay, why do you need that? Well, I got some bills to pay. Well, what kind of bills? Well, really, I'm behind on my taxes, and I got to you know get the IRS caught up. The guy's knocking at the door. Okay, now we understand the issue, right? <clears throat> or maybe it's not the IRS. You got balloon payment. You got whatever, right? But understanding that why, maybe there's a different way to achieve the result that you need, the real result, then, well, I don't know, let's keep it with the IRS for a minute. Yeah, maybe you owe them $100,000. That's a lot of money, but maybe. Will they take payments? I mean, maybe you don't have to come up with a whole thing at once. See that? And, and that's really the point of understanding the question behind the question. Don't get so stuck on this result, because uh, and it, it's funny, I, I'm telling you, I get people all the time, they've already solved the problem, they just need me to tell them how to execute it. I'm like, well, let's figure out what it is. So, yesterday when we were talking about letting other people write the rules for you, <clears throat> it really was, we were talking about um, your definition of success, 
and how you can let other people define for you what your definition of success is. Societally, culturally, we've come to find, you know, new car, new house, uh, right job title. Those are all, you know, kind of measures of success, and I call those the trappings of success because they are absolutely a trap. <coughs> um, so, when you, when you are faced with a problem, don't this is how you apply it for yourself. Well, let me let me do it this way. Our job as business owners is to solve problems for other people at a profit. When you are talking to other people about what their challenges are, look for the question behind the question. Look for the real underlying why. Okay. When you are applying this to your life, don't project the solution and be closed-minded about alternatives. Right? Be confident that you have gotten to the real root of the problem and that you are open-mindedly looking for solutions to that real root problem. You've not jumped forward three steps to what you think is the best solution and now you're trying to execute that. Right? <clears throat> always ask why. And I, oh, the other thing yesterday, I mentioned there's this in, uh, engineering principle about ask why five times. Eric says 20 times. But ask why five times. Right? Well, we need to update this software. Why? Well, because it doesn't do this. Well, why does it need to do that? Well, because this customer said so. Well, why do we care what that customer said? Right? Ask five times. Ask why five times to get down to the real root of the problem. And a lot of times you'll find out that, that that they're not aligned, that those what's really driving those are not aligned with either your objectives or outcomes or the business's objectives and outcomes. What do you do when that happens? You exit. <laughs> Don't do it. That And that's hard. We talked about that some last week, how saying no is, is uh, scary. But being scared is okay. Fear is just a natural result, so don't don't fear the reaper. Don't be afraid of fear. All right, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, just a little snippet there about the question behind the question. Don't forget, I'll um, I'll find it and put it in the comments if Eric doesn't do it. Uh, the link to Eric uh, Mulford's page, so you can watch his show this morning about twenty questions. I really like that method also, and I've used it. Personally, I've used it several times. I've used it with clients a couple of times. Um, it, it, it has an interesting way of overcoming one of the problems that we apply to problem solving, one of the limitations we apply to problem solving. So be sure and check that out uh, and get some good information from him as well. All right, so let's see. Today is, what is today? Thursday. Man, Thursday already, April the 5th. Week is ripping right on by. That means tomorrow's Free Coaching Friday. If you have a question, comment, or topic you would like to see me talk about here on the show, send me a message via Facebook. Send me an email, tom at tomrigsby.com. We'll get that question in and talk about it. Also, remember, tomorrow, Friday, Men of Business is coming up. If you happen to be here in the Huntsville area, we would love to have you. 1130 at Terranova's. Send me a message or an email about that, and I'll give you some more information there. And one last time, I'm going to put this up. Uh, the Fast Five, if you'd like to get your hands on that program, it is absolutely free. You can find that on my website, tomrigsby.com slash Fast Five. That page gives you a little explanation video of what it is and how it works. So go there, check it out, and uh, pick that up if that's something that will help you. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a terrific Thursday. I will talk to you tomorrow.